Okay, I'm here with Brandon Dwight, winner of the uh, 4044 National Champion. Uh, it's your first at that age group, but you had several of the 35 to 39 and lower age groups, right? Uh, just um, in 35 to 39, I won twice. So. One in Bend and one in Kansas City? No, both that? in Kansas. Both in Kansas City. Yeah. Right on. Nice. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about the, uh, about the race today out there. Uh, it was great race. It was um, the conditions were challenging because the temperature was increasing, mm -hmm. so the frozen ruts were becoming kind of slick frozen mm -hmm. ruts. So it made it very challenging because it really depended on the way the sun was hitting the mm -hmm. course. Some ruts stayed frozen while other ruts got really soft. Mm -hmm. Others stayed frozen with slick mud on top. How so. different was lap five from lap one? Um, Any spots in particular that felt like they really changed? It seemed like all in all the kind of the chicanes, like on mm -hmm. the flats, they changed quite a bit where you could sort of bounce across the frozen ruts on top. Mm -hmm. It was, um, they just got more challenging, a little slicker. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you got a, got a false sense of confidence, like you thought you hit one corner, and they're like, oh, you're, oh, they're softening up, so I can rail this corner. Mm -hmm. But the next corner didn't quite get the same amount of sun, so... It was still frozen, mm -hmm. so you'd think you could drive through the rut, but the rut would actually just throw you across the course. <laughs> so, so it was um, it was challenging. I wouldn't say that it was a huge difference between lap one and five, but mm -hmm. it definitely just got softer and a little slower. Of course, a little the course play a little harder than it looks like in the weeks leading up to the race. One thing I've learned a lot over the years is to not read into what people write or what they put up on video or anything like that about cyclocross courses, mm -hmm. and. I just knew that it, would, it is what it is, and a race is a race, and they're all hard. So I uh, just figured um, just to not worry about it too much. And, and But I was very happy to hear about the little bit of the mud and some of the elevation in the course, so that was, that was nice. How many years have you been doing this now? When did you start cross? I don't know when I started. It was like either 94 or 95. But my first nationals was 97. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing this my, I guess that's 15 years now. Who got you into it? Pete Weber. Nice. Yeah, he was my, kind of my mountain bike mentor when I was trying to make a living bike race, mountain bike racing. Mm -hmm. He was a paid professional and, you know, high level pro. And he told me, hey, you should try cycling cross because it's great for your bike handling skills and, and you, um, and you can, um, work on your fitness in the off season and it's really fun and I'm like oh yeah sure I'll try it you know and here we are 15 years later riding around the riding, front of the course together. riding together and you know Pete's been a great mentor for for mountain biking and for um, cyclocross and for other things in life too and um, he's just a good friend so. um, is your family here with you? They couldn't make it. My wife uh, runs a very successful wedding planning business, and she has a wedding this weekend. So she couldn't make it. It's kind of a bummer, but uh, it would have been fun to stand on the podium here with my daughter in my arms. But Who was the kid that you were hanging on to earlier? <laughs> that's a friend, uh, uh, Brian Lodzinski, who got uh, oh, uh, seventh today. Okay, he's um, running around in fifth for a while. Yeah, he's a great rider um, and a good friend. And, that's their daughter Hayden. She's she's a real cutie, and she's she's always cheering for me out there too. So that's fun. Louisville next weekend, or are you gonna yep. wait? Yep. Yep. Going. Registered. Got a plane ticket. Um, gonna go out there and just have fun mm -hmm. and see how it goes. Right so, on. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thanks All for right. uh, thanks for chatting together. Thanks for uh, everything. Appreciate it.